everybody. It's been a minute since I've been live on my channels. Hello, hello. It's Friday. It's Friday. Mm, 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 mm. I really feel like I got away with uh, not working this week because I was at a conference for the first three days of the week. So I really worked a full day today, just a partial day yesterday. And it's like, now it's the weekend. I could handle a three two, three day work week. I, I really could handle that. I'm just saying, like I really could. All right. I'm going to try to watch the comments. So if you see my eyes moving all around, that's all it's about. But I just wanted to check in with everybody, see how your week has been. Mine has been really awesome. Got to be at a conference with a, a just a bunch of really powerful women and the just the energy in the environment was something to behold. I can't, like, you come away with, like, a little bit of a high of sorts. I'm just saying. Like, it was it was super exciting. I was really, really appreciative to be there. And I was reminded how excited I am to be helping you guys. This idea of the community support wrapped around what I have created in the Learn to Love Your Story personal development course, like, being in that room of women all week and just kind of feeling lifted up by all of them. Like we all were talking about, we're all entrepreneurs and we were all talking about where we're slipping and where it's hard and where we have imposter syndrome and all the things, right? So we're, we're there and we're talking about all of that. And yet afterwards, I felt completely lifted up. And I'm like, this is why I am adding group coaching. This is why I want to help you. And if you haven't yet gone to learntoloveyourstory.com and registered for my masterclass, please do. All of them are up. They will be up until August 3rd. <laughs> October 3rd. You know what? It's Friday and I only worked a day and a half, but that's okay. Um, it's Friday. So October 3rd and they're available for you. It's five hours of content for free available until October 3rd. And if you do that, then you'll be put into the Facebook group where all of this stuff lives and you'll be eligible for discounts. What? You know what else you're eligible for? If you watch the videos and comment on them, you are eligible for your name to be put into the hat for a free group coaching, hello, and community support if you, a package. If you get it for free, that's, that's $1,300 value for free. I crazy guys. Like I, I'm like, I'm just on fire because I know that this is going to help so many people. I cannot wait to get started in October with these small groups of women helping you lift each other up, helping you understand how to create a growth mindset. I mean, listen, the world is in a constant state of flux, more so now than ever. And it doesn't help us to all believe that if we have control over things in our life, that we won't be anxious. Well, guess what, people? You're not really in control of much. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> And so this is the program for you because I will teach you how to be comfortable, not even just comfortable, but love your life in a state of flux. I'm not lying to you. The science is there. I've done it, you know, for 16 years across the couch from people. This works. Like I, I have no problem. If you want to just do the personal development course and go online, it works. But if you really want to make it like solidly work in your life, Get into the group coaching with me. Get into a group of women that want to lift you up as well. Like a woman in midlife should be feeling like she is stepping into the best part of her life, not starting to sunset, you know, not feeling frustrated that she's poured herself into everybody in her life, into her work, into her communities. And, and for what? Like she did all the right things and she doesn't feel content in her life. Some of us really don't even like our lives and we're not telling anybody because we feel really shameful about that. This program is for you. If any of that resonates for you, this program is for you. If you know a woman in your life where that might be resonating for her, this program is for her and send her my way. Learn to love your story.com. That's where I want you to go. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about how this idea of uh, our narrative, like our story, right? Learn to love your story. 
is such a powerful one. And why I want to shift people from this old narrative to new narrative in several areas of their life. So it starts with self-awareness. It starts with just knowing things about you and being aware of things about you. And women are not great at this. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> we were socially conditioned to be aware of what everybody else's needs are in a room. You can walk in a room and a woman would zone in on somebody that was struggling. I promise you, like that is just social conditioning at its finest. And then there's family conditioning and other things that layer up on that. So some of us are really, really, really in tune. Some of us, you know, are just in tune enough and really out of tune with ourselves. So self-awareness and being focused on knowing how you feel and honoring when you're in an environment that you get that gut reaction mm, and leaving it this is an important step in the process of old narrative to new narrative, right? Old story to new story. I don't need to be in charge of all the people in my life. I need to be in charge of one person in my life. And in being in charge of her, I am a better version of myself in all aspects of my life. Right? Right. Self-compassion is the next. And the old story there is... Um, fluffy Duffy being nice to yourself means that you're going to get lazy. Like if you're not hard on yourself, then you're not going to try to improve old narrative, new narrative. When you're the most compassionate to you, the most kind and understanding towards yourself and see your humanity, you allow yourself to make mistakes, which allows you to quickly get up and do something else, show up differently. When you get hard on yourself, you will stay in that hamster wheel. You will ruminate about what you did wrong. You will beat yourself up over and over for a long time. And that's no way to be. It's just no way to do life. So self-compassion, new story, right? The next one is understanding there are stories all around that we've been told. There are definitions all around us all the time. And they're old, like some of them might not be serving us anymore. For instance, women who are wrinkly or have gray hair are not attractive. So I better do the things that I need to do to not have that happen to me. Uh, no, old story, don't like it, doesn't serve me. I'm gonna take on a new story, you know? Women are at their, you know, peak when they're raising their kids and doing their job and da 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 in their 30s maybe, in their 20s, 30s, mm, 40s a little bit, but once 50s and 60s come, yeah, that's an old story. <laughs> New story, I am in the finest part of my life. I have stepped into my own self-actualization. I know who I am. I know what I want. I'm able to accomplish things. I'm able to be compassionate towards myself when I make mistakes and turn myself around, right? That's the new story. So you see here how like if I shift it, it's a big deal. This is why I call my fourth area, selfish is the new selfless. Mm-hmm. Because we all have been told a story that any kind of putting yourself first is a selfish act. And that all we should be doing as women is be selfless, is to care for others, is to always be looking outside of ourselves and making sure people's needs are met. And that will meet our needs. That is an old story. And it's a tired story, and it's an incorrect, untrue story. The new story really is, if you're taking care of you, you're taking care of all the people in your life. If you selfishly, or as I heard at this conference this weekend, if you unconditionally devote yourself to taking care of this person right here, then everybody in your life benefits, everything in your life benefits, everywhere in your life benefits. If you are just unapologetically devoting yourself to your self-care, sky's the limit, right? Old story, new story, used to be selfish. It isn't selfish, it is actually selfless to do the self-care that you need, I'm just saying. And then the last area is how you create the growth mindset. like. Basically, we get to grow and be okay in flux when we start to operate in a way that puts those four areas in this kind of constant flux 
and readjustment stage in our, our state of mind in our life. We are open-minded to any possibility and we're able to kind of pivot no matter what transition comes our way. That is a powerful state of being, my friends. That's a new way to be. The old story, take control of what is in your life. Like if you've got control over things, then you won't be anxious, you won't be stressed, just keep control over the things. Well, uh, COVID has given us a big lesson in the fact that we don't control as much as we'd like to elude ourselves into believing that we control, right? I want you to take on this new story. You can love your life no matter where you're at, no matter what struggles you're in, no matter what challenges you've had. You can love your life even in hindsight, even though you've made horrible mistakes in your past, you can love them. I promise you, this is actually a way of being. This growth mindset is actually something that you can get to. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments what you think about those five areas, self-awareness, self-compassion, you know, learning that there's just conditioning that we can let go of in this world, self-care, like unapologetic devotion to self-care and growth mindset. I would love to hear from you in the comments what you're thinking about that. But these are the five areas that over and over in the research and the science and in my practice, I have seen work for people. That's what my personal development program is about. If you want to do it yourself, Run on over to learntoloveyourstory.com right now and you can sign up for the online courses. But if you'd like to join me in group coaching, I am going to put small groups of women, no more than 20 at a time together for just creating that community support environment to lift one, each, one another up and get the group coaching directly from me, get taught directly from me in addition to the online package. This is going to be so exciting. I can't stand it. Anyway, I hope you all have a great weekend, right? And I hope to be seeing you in the Take Back Your Life Masterclass Facebook group. If you've gone over to learntoloveyourstory.com, that pop-up comes up right away. You press that button, we'll get you signed up and ready and you would have the discounts available to you if you're in the Facebook group. I hope you have a great weekend, everybody.